what's going on ladies and gentlemen it's Eagle talks football we're back again with another video and we got to get into this because this is very interesting very interesting indeed apparently arsenal are eyeing a german international star as their german team is still in the euros and after the euros said player potentially will be joining arsenal and they already have an agreement in place the reason why they don't want to expose what's going on is because they don't want the player to be uh, the player's deal to be hijacked. Also, there's rumors that Arsenal are strongly linked to Ricardo Cal Calafuri, and even Fabrizio Romano and others have spoken about the potential deal. But I just something about it just tells uh, just makes me feel like that deal. I don't know if I can trust it. Also, Arsenal fans are split on Onana, and Albert Sambilakonga looks like he might be headed on loan to none other than. Sevilla. But before we go any further, please do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into all the latest Arsenal transfer news and explain to you what is really going on at this moment in time. Okay. So, first things first, let's get into this German story. If you guys don't know who Team News Tix is, he's one of the more reliable uh, news sources uh, for Arsenal and in general. He said that Arsenal are interested in signing a German international this summer once the Euros has ended. However, the name is currently unknown as per Team News Tix. Which German player do you think Arsenal will be signing next? That is the first question I have for you guys. Of course, there's a, many options. Florian Witzer, I think, would probably be staying at Leverkusen for another year as he potentially could be a, a Real Madrid player in a year's time. Musiala is currently in a contract dispute with Bayern Munich and he could be somebody who leaves Bayern Munich, but that would be a ridiculously expensive fee. And as there has been rumors from David Onstein and others that Arsenal are not going to splash the cash too much this window, I doubt that it would be that transfer. Then Leroy Sané makes a lot of sense as we do need a winger, somebody who can also help the attack on both ends of the flank and has the experience in the Premier League and has worked with Mikel Arteta in the past. But a lot of people are pointing the fingers at Joshua Kimmich, saying Joshua Kimmich could be Arsenal's marquee signing, who can play in the right uh, right back position and also play in the midfield in the six and eight, can play plethora of positions, and the versatility is just up Mikel Arteta's alleyway. But if I was to guess, I would say probably Sané or, or Kimmich over these other guys. And you also have people saying the defender who plays for the German national team, Slutterback, also could be an option. But in my opinion, at this moment in time, we just don't have enough uh, of a, a enough information to, to actually nail it down to one individual person to say that is the person who Arsenal are looking to sign. That is the person who the German player is. But there has been a video that recently was released of a guy saying that there's going to be a German international coming to London and he's going to need a car. And this is where all these rumors are originating from and are coming from. It's very interesting to see. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. But a lot of people are talking about Joshua Kimmich, Joshua Kimmich being the guy. And I wouldn't be surprised if it actually was Joshua Kimmich. Uh, that does seem like it is the potential situation there. Now, Arsenal have gotten their first. Uh, so let me know, guys, who do you think it's going to be? And who do you think the German player is going to be? But also, please do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's get on to the next play thing that we need to discuss. The next thing we need to discuss is Arsenal have made their first signing of the summer. We knew that this was going to come. Arsenal have now formally activated the buy option in David Rea's contract. The 24, uh, 27, uh, the 27 uh, million pound deal is now permanent, and David Rea is now an Arsenal player. There is no, no more speculation, no more. It's going to happen in a week's time. It's going to happen in two days. It's going to happen in three days. It's going to happen in four days. None of that stuff anymore. It is, it is going to happen, and it's going to happen very soon. But we just don't know what, how, how much that entails. But at this moment in time, it is very interesting to see how far. Uh, how far we can get into this transfer window without more clarity in what transfers are going to happen and what transfers are not going to happen. But David Rea is the first signing for the Arsenal first team. 
because we have had academy players be signed already, but just for the first team. And also, big up Canada. Um, uh, they're going to be playing. If that, if I'm not mistaken, that's Ecuador in the in the set in the uh, semi in the quarterfinals of the Copa Americas. As you can see, we uh, you don't see no Mexico USA in the quarterfinals, so that's that's a big W for Canada right there. But yeah, let's let's get on to the, the 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 next transfer news. The next transfer news is none other than Ricardo Calafuri. Arsenal and Chelsea both remain interested, uh, as revealed last week. Both clubs are exploring the conditions of a deal, as Basel will get a fifty percent sell-on fee. Uh, Calafuri has been given the green light to Juventus, but uh, uh, but Balogun, uh, sorry, uh, Bologna. Uh, uh, prefer to sell abroad. I am going to be a hundred percent honest with you guys. I don't believe the Califuri links, in the sense that we are constantly linked to this left back, but we currently have a situation where we have a surplus of players that can play in left back, and he would cost a, potentially around fifty million pounds. Do Arsenal even need? Ricardo Calafuri, in the sense that we still haven't sold Kavior, we still haven't sold uh, Zinchenko, we still haven't, so, uh, we still have other players that can play in that position. At this moment in time, until I see the sale of either Zinchenko or Kavior, I don't see us going in for Calafuri so strong and so uh, and spending around 50 million euros on him at this moment in time. This does seem more like links because we may be inquired in the player. But Arsenal might have an interest, but we might not activate that interest unless we actually start getting some player sales on the other end. And with the Euros currently being on and Ukraine just finishing the Euros, I don't think we're going to get a Zinchenko deal done anytime soon. And KVR also just finishing the Euros with Poland. You, I don't think you're going to get a deal done that quickly with any of those two. Personally, I would keep KVR and I would get rid of Zinchenko. And, if, and at that point, if you want to bring in another left back, that makes sense. But at this moment in time, with the money that's being spoken about and how much it would potentially cost Arsenal to get Caleb Fury uh, out of the uh, out of the team uh, uh, on onto the team, it might it might be a little bit of a steep price. And I just don't know if Arsenal can afford to one spend fifty million on a left back when we have so many players already in that position. It would be a Ramsdale situation where we would just be cutting uh we we would be devaluing our players yes we'd improve the team and you want to improve the team but i don't know if this is the route that the club is going to take personally uh, i'm 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 very skeptical about that at this moment in time we'll just have to wait and see if if there's more news to that in the coming days weeks months but at this moment in time i'm very skeptical and let me know if you guys agree do you think califuri Makes sense. Do you think we need Califuri at Arsenal? Is is this is this a signing that you'd welcome? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Because I I personally, he can play left back, left centre back. We already have so many players that can do that. He he's a quality player, but it's just I question the validity of said report. Um, now let's quickly just go to this one here before we before we wrap up. Uh, final stories to check. So there was some some stuff about Fabrizio Romano talking about contract talk with Mikel Arteta and his agent continue ongoing. Nothing's done yet. Apparently, we, uh, I I heard uh, at back end of last season that Arteta and Arsenal have come to some sort of mutual understanding that there will be a contract extension. But um, Fabrizio Romano saying that nothing's been done yet. You also have other things saying I expect. Uh, many movements. It depends on what kind of opportunities. Left-footed defender. Uh, Arsenal want to bring in, uh, probably bring in the summer. This is one of the priorities. Something could happen in the midfield and offensive areas. Honestly, I don't think Fabrizio and Romano knows what he's talking about when it comes to Arsenal this summer. It's very vague, very vague, very vague answers all around. Um, please, for the love of God, keep Ben Chilwell at Chelsea. We don't want nothing to do with him at Arsenal. Genuinely. This is some bullshit. Do we need Chilwell? Hell no. If I see Chilwell come to Arsenal, I'll be fuming. I don't want nothing to do with that guy. Also, there's more news about Ric uh, Ricardo uh, 
uh, Ricard, uh, Ricardo Calafuri. Um, more news on Ricardo Calafuri here, but this is the one that I want to talk about before we before we move on to the end of the video. Sevilla and Arsenal are still negotiating uh, for value for a buyout clause for Albert Sami Lakonga as a deal uh, does seem closer and closer. It's this could mean that Sevilla does not want to go out over 8 million while Arsenal want 12 million. Surely we should be able to at least get 12 million for Albert Sambi Lukonga. This is getting ridiculous now. How are we not being able to at least get 12 million for a player who had such a great season on loan last year? Plus, um, I'm seeing academy players who's never kicked the ball go for 40 plus million. We should at least be able to get something for Albert Sambi Lukonga. This is getting ridiculous now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Yes, we are not that good at player sales, but God, this is getting sad now. How are we not even able to get the bare minimum? This is what happens when people don't want your players. Um, you struggle to sell them. Hopefully we can improve this, but it doesn't look like it's going to improve any moment anytime soon. But yeah, that is that for today just those three stories so yeah let me know do you guys think we're gonna sell uh, we're gonna sell Lakonga for a decent fee yes or no um who do you think the german player is that arsenal are looking to sign uh that we're trying to keep under wraps in in behind the scenes and also do you believe the califuri links because i just don't I just don't. Something about it tells me I don't believe it. Anyways, I'm out of here, people. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next time. I'll probably do a video once I get more news, but this is just a quick little update. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Good morning, people, and I'm out.